Good morning. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today. My name is Mary Ann Graben, and we will be joined by Melody Selesky, who is our national key account executive at United Health One, to discuss short-term and ancillary products. Um, outside of Melody providing each of you with benefit detail on the short-term and the ancillary product line, please keep something in mind. We are experiencing a tremendous number of changes in the individual under 65 market now, and there will be additional carrier changes during open enrollment. You will find that these ancillary products can be a welcome addition to their existing benefits and help your clients bridge the gap in their out-of-pocket costs. So higher deductibles on permanent health plans may be elected by clients to help uh, keep costs down. Uh, Short-term coverage may be elected through the end of the year when there is a qualifying life event. The ancillary products that Melody will be discussing today can assist you in providing additional protection to your clients. And just a bit about Flexible Benefit Service. Uh, we are located in Rosemont, Illinois at Mannheim and Higgins Road. Flex has been in business for 28 years, offering two business segments, general agency and benefits administrator. We are a concierge-like service for producers in the group individual and Medicare marketplaces, and we provide assistance with sales, service, marketing, and business processing functions. We are an independent authorized general agency for multiple carriers and can provide you services with um, the small group, the individual and the Medicare marketplace, as, we, as I mentioned, and, uh, and of course, all of the services, carrier licensing, marketing, business processing functions. And if you are interested in getting appointed with United Health One, I just want to mention to you that you can please feel free to contact our office and we will provide you with the appointment paperwork that you need. Flex administers account-based health products nationwide. We are a direct HSA vendor for both the individual and the group market. We provide debit cards, cross-tech technology, access to our benefits portal and educational resources with the addition of the new RAP document services. We will assist with implementation and claims with follow-up by our service staff. Now, Melody will be joining us with her presentation, uh, so please feel free to ask questions um, as, uh, as she discusses some of these plans with you. Thank you. Melody, I'm sending this to you. Perfect, thank you very much, Marianne. We'll go ahead and, and switch screens here as the presenter. Bear with me one minute. Marianne, I'm not sure if it's working as far as sharing my screen. Okay, uh, we'll check into it on this side, Melody. Uh, thank you for your patience. We'll get this on track for you. Marianne, did that work? We don't see it on our side yet, Melody. We are um, sending you a message to see if we can assist you with getting it online.
Okay, Melody, uh, good to go. Thank you. Okay, you see my screen now? Yes, I do. I think we all Perfect. do. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Marianne. Um, as Marianne stated, I'm Melody Seleski. I am the National Key Account Executive working with brokers like yourself within um, Flexible Benefits. I have been with the United Healthcare family of companies. I just celebrated my 27th year here. So I definitely understand the roller coaster of the health insurance market that we're in right now. And we're definitely still seeing some great sales opportunities outside of the ACA market. So that's what I want to go over today, some of the products that we have available. Um, I might go through some of these products fast. We do have online broker training on our broker website as well that you can get more acquainted with these products if you're contracted with us. So um, that is available out there as well. So um, again, there is the chat box if you have questions as we move along here or there's more specific training online or always contact Flexible Benefits for those questions that you may have outside of this. So again, I thank you for your time today and we'll go ahead and get started. So these are the products that we're going to go over today starting with our short-term medical plans. And as far as the agenda on the short-term medical plans, really just looking at the flexibility that you have with the short-term medical plans, ranging anywhere from a 30-day plan up to 360 days of coverage in most states. Definitely our strength in our network of the short-term plans with the Choice Plus network, and we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail, and really the easy application process that we have for you, either online or paper application, that'll make it easy for yourself and your clients. So um, as most short-term plans, as you may know, that um, as far as the uh, federal guideline for meeting essential coverage, that is not in a short-term medical plan. So your ACA plans do include the 10 essential health benefits, ranging from maternity coverage, pediatric dental, um, some preventive and wellness, um, that the short-term medical plan does not have. Now keep in mind that then also the short-term plans, you may be subject to that tax penalty. So short-term plans might not be right for everybody, especially those that might have health history or depending on their income, what that penalty will be. So there's definitely that you have to outweigh the advantages and disadvantages of looking at a short-term medical plan. So we do have five different short-term medical plans, starting uh, with our lowest cost plan, the short-term medical value, which is our most popular plan because of the low cost, all the way up to a short-term medical copay plan. So if clients are accustomed to copays to see the doctor, that is a plan that they can take as well, but that is going to be your most expensive plan as well. Inside the five different short-term plans that we have, we have five different deductible options ranging anywhere from a low $1,000 deductible up to making it more of a catastrophic plan with a $10,000 deductible. When quoting these products, these products will always quote a per-term deductible, which means there will be one deductible for the entire length of the plan. You can save the client about 10% in premium dollars of changing that to a per-cause deductible, meaning there's going to be a deductible each time there is a claim. So for 10% of the um, premium difference in there, does it make sense for your client to change it to a per-cause deductible, keeping that in mind. Most plans, you can choose either an 80-20 coinsurance or a 70-30, so that again will allow you to lower that cost for that client in changing that coinsurance down. We do have our short-term medical plans available in 29 states from the map that you see on your screen, the dark blue shaded states are states that can allow a plan to be written for up to 360 days, with the exception of South Carolina, that's up to 337 days. Um, there are a handful of states in the lighter blue that we can write up to 184 days, Kansas a little bit different there, and one state left Missouri that allows us only to write in number of months. So Missouri can only write up to a six-month plan. So it's nice to know that if you're cross-selling into other states, if they can have a longer duration for that short-term plan. If you take anything away today with our short-term medical plans, it's the strength in our network that we have. As most of you know, those ACA plans, those networks are continuing to shrink. 
some are HMOs, uh, some you have to list a primary care physician and get referrals to see a specialist. With our United Healthcare Choice Plus network, you do not need to do that. It is an open access network that if you're traveling, you have students, children in another state going to school, that United Healthcare Choice Plus network is in every state and they can still stay in network for their benefits. There's over a million physicians and healthcare professionals, over 6,000 hospitals, urgent care, type facilities, and they are negotiated rates um, that they have contracted with us, so the clients would not be then balance billed for any difference outside of that negotiated rate. So the strength in that network, I think, is huge, and you can look up those providers on our uh1.com website. So to give you an example of the strength in those numbers of the uh, network here, In the state of Illinois, which I am going to assume that most of you are, are in that are on the call today, we have 186 out of 187 hospitals in the entire state. Um, to tell you what that one hospital is, I really don't know that off the top of my head. That's not a network. So, so you can definitely see the strength in that. If your client you know, happens to be maybe a snowbird and they go to Florida for the winter, 211 out of 212 hospitals. So again, strength in numbers I think is huge when you're working with your clients. Even the states that are not shaded, those are states that we don't do new business in, but those states still do have that United Healthcare Choice Plus network that can be utilized if they happen to be in that state. For our short-term medical plans, there are states that you can uh, write a consecutive back-to-back short-term plan once the first one expires. So in the majority of the states, um, you can do that back-to-back. -back. It expires today. You can write another one starting tomorrow. There are a few states, Connecticut, Arizona, Michigan, and Wisconsin, that does allow them or require them to have a break in coverage before they can come back again. So there are some rules in just a few states. Otherwise, back-to-back -back policies, which I think is key, working with your clients through the end of the year and into the next open enrollment period, really deciding what is best for them and, and extending that plan into next year. Again, that short-term medical um, application process is a short form, basically a yes or no question. If they happen to answer yes to any of those questions, it is a decline. So as long as they can answer no, we will go ahead and accept them. But keep in mind, again, pre-existing conditions. Um, example, high blood pressure. We do take somebody that has high blood pressure, but their medications they may take would be considered pre-existing and we would not cover the, the medication. So keep that in mind. Most states have a 12-month look back for pre-ex that if anything has been treated, consulted, or taking medications for, that would be a pre-existing condition. Um, the insureds need to have lived in the United States for at least the last 12 months. Our short-term plans are eligible for anybody between the ages of 19 and 64 and 11 months, so bridging them before they get on Medicare is also available to them. I wanted to give a quick example of our rate sheet. If you don't do this online and you actually quote it from the paper application using our rate sheet, so this is kind of what it looks like in our rate guide um, by state. It has different areas um, to figure that rate with the, the base rate and trend factor. So I'm just going to go through that quickly here. So the example, I'm, um, this is the worksheet actually that's in the uh, plan brochure as well um, to fill out to help you calculate those rates. So my example today, I'm going to uh, quote a husband and wife, um, age 42 and 38, taking the short-term medical plus. So number one on that rate sheet basically states to get your daily base rate. Uh, for that individual. So this client is taking our $5,000 deductible. We have a male, age 42, so that factor is 2.65. We have a female, that's 38. Her factor is 2.42. And then if there's any children, you would add that in there. So the subtotal for number one is 5.07. Number two on the calculation sheet is a multi-person discount. So you would take that 507, times it by the discount of 0 0.90, because there's two or more on the plan, coming to 4.56. When we move on to number three, taking that 4.56 and looking at the trend factor, 
it does go by effective date. So for this example, I used a July 1st effective date. I know we're past that, but it's basically the same factor of 1.12 that you would times that by getting 5.11. Number four is taking the zip code area factor. This client lived in zip code 60604. So that is a uh, zip code factor of 1.35 coming to 6.90. Then from there, you take the plan factor. Again, this client was taking the short-term medical plus $5,000 deductible 80-20 plan. So that plan factor taking this plan out for 90 days is 1.0. So there is no trend or plan factor there. Then from there, it's the payment option. This client wants to pay monthly. So we're going to have a monthly processing factor in there of 1.32. Number seven is if they want the added supplemental accident benefit rider that we'll talk about in just a minute. So this client elected the accident rider for the $5,000 deductible for a family is 2.0. They would add that in there. Number eight is the number of days of coverage. They're paying monthly, so we only want to use 30 days. So monthly payment, days of coverage equals 30, no matter how many days are in the month. So we come out to a premium of $333.30. Now, in addition to that, number nine is our fact fee that they add into that $4 per month and the application fee of $20. So the end total for this uh, client to send in with their application would be $357.30. So I actually then took that in and ran that online to make sure I match. So this did, did come out to the $333.30, but our online quoting does not include the fact fee or the application fee either. So I just wanted to show you in my example, I, I got it to match as far as calculating that manually versus calculating that online. And sometimes it, it does get a little tricky when you calculate that on paper. So it, it's nice to go back online to check to make sure that is correct and you're sending in the correct premium at time of application. So I hope that helped a little bit. Some of the payment advantages that we have for the clients, again, they can either pay their short-term plan monthly, either EFT or credit card ongoing. They also do have the option to pay that entire length of the short-term in one lump payment. The nice thing about that is that uh, from this example, you can see this client, when they paid that lump sum payment, they saved about one month's premium. So they do get a, a reduction in that. Now, if the client did take out a longer policy and decides to cancel, we do have the return of premium provision that if they cancel at any time, we'll go ahead and prorate and refund that money back. So you might want to ask your clients you know, to take out that short term just a little bit longer than they may need just to guarantee that they have no gap in coverage if they're waiting for an ACA effective date or the next open enrollment date. And again, they can cancel at any time and get that prorated premium back. The supplemental accident rider benefit is uh, a rider added on to the short-term plan. So once the short-term plan expires, this benefit would expire as well. So basically this would make your coverage an illness-only type plan that if you match the benefit as, as far as the rider to the deductible, they could have zero out-of-pocket for the deductible. They could also buy up higher than the deductible to cover co-insurance. So again, possibly paying 100% of an accident claim where the client would have no exposure. So keep that in mind when quoting, you can add that as an additional rider. Just to give you some sales stats on our short-term medical plans, we continue to see that increase here over time. Um, comparing quarter one of 2015 to quarter one of 2016, we had about a 72% growth in our short-term plans. One thing that, I, thing that I find interesting is during open enrollment in December from your graph here, that was one of our highest months. Um, June was our highest here, but December, that was one of our highest months for short terms. Again, possibly bridging the gap before they got on ACA for January 1st, or possibly not taking an ACA plan at all and taking a plan for 360 days into the next year. Some of our top selling areas that you might be interested in, um, especially if you do sell outside of your home state, these are some of our top selling zip codes and our top selling counties. So um, counties, you can see Cook County, um, number three in our top county list. Um, 
So definitely Illinois is starting to grow in our short-term sales because there's probably very limited carriers that are out there. So again, we continue to, to see that increase. Our top selling plan, like I stated um, prior slides, that are short-term medical plus is our most popular short-term medical value. Those make up 80% of our sales of our short-term plans. So when quoting, you may want to just narrow that down to those couple of plans to make it easier for your client to understand the differences in those two. Top selling deductible, our $5,000 deductible is our top selling. But as you can see, $10,000 deductible, 23% um, of those take the 10,000, again, making that really a catastrophic plan and saving quite a bit of money when they're taking that higher deductible. Top 10 states, again, really good to know, especially if you market in other states, which states are our top 10. Um, Illinois, number seven there, and you know, definitely a good opportunity in the state of Illinois for our short-term plans. I'm gonna move ahead on to our standalone dental product. Our dent, uh, dental product, as you can see from the map, um, we have great coverage for dental. Our most updated product is our gen, Dental Gen 2 that's available for you. There is no maximum age, so this is also a plan that you can utilize for your Medicare clients. So anybody over age 65 can take this out as well. We do have four different plan options to choose from with our lowest cost plan, the Dental Primary all the way to our non-network plan of our Dental Premier Elite. And kind of looking at the differences of the four plans, um, being the Dental Primary is the lowest cost plan, you can see in red kind of the differences here. Major services are not covered on our primary plan. So keep that in mind when you're working with your clients that if they you know, need a root canal, um, crowns, anything like that would not be covered on a primary plan because major services is not covered. Premier Choice, again, is our, our next popular, and you can see major services are covered. They do have a higher annual maximum starting at a 1200 and the longer that they're with us, that will continue to grow up to a $1,500 annual maximum. Again, kind of showing some growth stats on our, our dental sales that continues to grow, and again, during December, during open enrollment, a great opp opportunity to cross-sell. And keep in mind, ACA plans only covered pediatric dentals. So uh, those children under age 19 have that on an ACA plan, but anybody over 19, mom or dad, again, cross-selling the dental plan and looking at that during open enrollment. Again, dental primary, dental premier choice make up about 70% of our sales, top 10 states, um, again, from the map, Illinois is still within, within our top 10 states, uh, number six. So again, a great uh, cross-sell opportunity with other states. Vision. Um, on our dental plan, you have an option to add a rider for the dental. Um, keep in mind, though, if somebody uh, cancels their dental plan, their vision would end as well. In February, we came out with a standalone vision product that you can sell on its own. You don't need to sell with vision or I'm sorry, with dental. Um, so the standalone vision right now is available in 24 states. There are no waiting periods for vision, so they can take coverage today and go to their provider tomorrow. There's two plans available that we'll go over and, and show the, the, the difference in those two. Most states do require a commitment of a 12-month policy. So definitely look at the state variations to see if that is a, a rule in your state. It is a paperless product, so they will not get ID cards. They can log into a website to print that off, or their providers, when they go, they'll be able to look up their information online. This is for anybody age 18 and older. Again, your Medicare clients over age 65 can take advantage of this product. It does also include discounts for laser eye surgery and hearing aids, and you can look up those providers on the My uhcvision.com website. In looking at the two plans, plan A or B, if they stay in network with a provider, it's going to be a copay for their services, um, eye exams, frames, or lenses. The only difference in these two plans, plan A will cover only glasses or only contacts, not both of them. Plan B will cover both. So in working with your clients, 
they happen to wear contacts during the day, they go home and put their glasses on, Plan B might be a better option for them. So keep that in mind, knowing your clients and, and their vision needs, that if they just wear glasses all day long, then Plan A will be a better option for them. To give you the um, example of the rates in the different states that we have here, in most states, Plan A, $11.40. Plan B, where they would have both glasses and contacts coverage, $15.70. And there you would add an additional amount per insured on that plan. So I think a real low cost benefit for your clients when they're using the services. To give you an example of the benefit, because a lot of clients will say, does it really pay if I'm only going to the provider once a year? So in this example, client has plan B with both contacts and glasses coverage paying that fifteen seventy per month, about $180 for the year. They went in, had their eye exam, got some frames and lenses, and then also some contacts. So they would have paid out of pocket about $455. With this plan, they only had to pay $20, their copay for their eye exam and their copay for their lenses because they, they took from the selection that was available uh, for them. So overall, this client saved about $227 by having a vision plan. And who wouldn't want to save that kind of money throughout the year if they needed to see their vision provider? Again, vision is a newer product for us um, since February, and that is our fastest growing ancillary product. Um, so as we go forward here, we'll have some more sales stats on that. Plan A um, is our most popular where they're just taking that just glasses coverage or just contacts coverage, um, so keep that in mind when quoting. Again, our top 10 states, and again, being that it's just um, from February, this will probably change quite a bit as we add more states as well because we're only in 24 states, but again, Illinois made the top 10. Critical illness, um, I believe, is a great product to enhance your client's coverage. Our critical illness plans are available in 41 states. It is a lump sum benefit that is paid directly to the client. The benefit amounts range from anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000 in $10,000 increments. It is eligible for those clients ages between 18 and 59 at application time. Benefits are reduced by 50% at age 65. Benefits will either end at age 70 or when we have 100% payout. So an example of that 100% payout, if somebody, for example, had a $20,000 benefit plan, had a coronary artery bypass graft, we would pay 25% of that. The policy would stay in effect for the remaining amount that they purchased in case they had anything else happen for a critical illness. Your clients may ask what might be right for them as far as the amount they should take out. This is an example of a client making about $56,000 annually, so out of work for about three months of that salary and having to pay their medical deductible on their plan for their claims that they had. Now, this doesn't account living expenses, mortgage, car payment, um, so this client would be out about $20,000 in that three months. So in quoting a male, this male happens to be in Texas, but these rates are similar in most states, this is about $26 a month. So a real low cost amount for your client to have some more broad coverage in case of a critical illness. Again, our growth in our critical illness sales continue to increase over time. March was our, our best month that we had in quite some time. And again, you can see prior to that, during open enrollment, December, clients were continuing to um, add to their coverage that they've already, you know, have in place with ACA. So again, keep that in mind as far as cross-sell opportunities. Most clients are taking the $10,000 option. About 85% of our clients take that, um, probably because it's the lowest cost as well. So in quoting that, um, those lower Amounts, 10, 20,000 seem to be what people are looking at. 
Again, top 10 states that we have is kind of the same theme through a lot of this with Florida, Texas being number one and two, and again, Illinois made the top 10 list. Term Life is a pretty easy product um, to explain as well. Um, we do have two different plans available, either a 10-year term or a 20-year term, depending on the applicant's age at time of um, new business. Again, it is a cash paid benefit to the client. We do not require a paramed on our term life, like most other life insurance might, um, so that is not needed. Ranges from 25000 all the way up to 200000 for your clients. So the 10-year plan would be for anybody issued uh, between the ages of 18 and 59 at application time. The 20-year plan anywhere between 18 and 49. You also do have an option to add a critical illness benefit onto that in most states. The critical illness benefit would be up to 50% of the term life amount. So for example, somebody took a $100,000 term life benefit, the max they would get on that uh, CI plan would be 50000 Our term life plans continue to increase. Um, early last year, we didn't, weren't in many states, so that's why, as far as seeing the increase, that has started, it really started um, to grow here with sales. And again, making that complete package for your client. Most clients are taking that term life policy only, not adding that critical illness rider. Again, top 10 states um, that you can see if you cross-sell in other states. Accident plans. Um, unlike the rider that was on our short-term medical plan, accident plan um, safeguard and safeguard premier that we have is a standalone product, again, that you can um, sell in addition to other plans. Keep in mind when that short-term plan expired, so did that accident rider, so you might want to keep an accident plan longer. And it's good to combine with an ACA plan because of those higher deductibles on ACA, where this is a cash benefit up front. So there are two different products available. Our Safeguard, which is an indemnity-style plan, again, paying directly to the client. We're in about uh, 24 states. The differences in the plans are from the different amounts that we pay out on the accidental death. So Plan A pays a $25,000, B $50,000, and Plan C would pay a $100,000 accidental death. They all include an accidental dismemberment amount on there as well. Just an example of a page that's in the plan brochure on the accident safeguard with the different accidents that are paid out. If somebody would take Plan B, kind of the middle of the road, it is sometimes a range of benefit that is paid based on the severity of the condition that the doctor notes. So, for example, an open fracture, depending on the severity, would pay out between $350 and $3,500. Now, again, keep in mind that might be low. That cash benefit goes to the client that they can then help pay down their deductible um, that they have on an ACA plan. Rates, again, um, very comparable in most states. This is, again, a 35-year-old male. For Plan B, is $22 a month. So, again, making it real affordable for a client to have. Um, an example of the benefit, this client, um, kind, of, kind of a severe case here, that the client had a severe concussion, went to the emergency room, and then was hospitalized into the ICU unit. So, with the benefits that are on the plan, this is the benefit payout that was paid to this client. The ER visit in the um, CAT scan, their ICU hospital admission. So this client paying $22 a month or $264 a year was paid out $6,450. Um, this you know, client might have that ECA plan that has that $6,500 deductible. So he's going to be very little out of pocket if they happen to have an accident. So great value for your clients to add that on. Accident Premier is um, very similar. We're in 25 states, and that is a, a level that you choose from instead of that schedule of benefits and indemnity style plan. The four different benefit amounts that are on here are 2,500, 4,000, 5,000, or 6,500. So more clients are kind of matching that accident level to their deductible. Kind of the rate differences between the 2,500 up to 6,500 
on that single meal. Remember before it was $22 for the middle of the road. Um, most of these are a little bit cheaper than that, uh, paying that flat dollar amount. So again, in this example, that, that same scenario, they had a $10,000 claim going into that ER. The client has an ACA qualified plan with a $6,500 deductible, submitted that claim to their provider or their um, insurance carrier. That insurance carrier paid the bill um, $3,500 to meet their deductible. They then submitted that on their accident plan with us and they had the $6,500 benefit we paid that benefit directly to the client, so basically this client paid zero out of pocket for that $10,000 claim. Again, our sales increases, we had it in very little states in early 2015, and that continues to grow with us as we move forward. Most popular is our accident safeguard, so they're they're taking the indemnity style plan, um, 67% per of the time versus the actual level benefit. Top selling is plan A, that $25,000 accidental death benefit that's included. Again, top 10 states, Illinois again being in that top 10. Uh, Texas is shaded a little bit different here because they did not have the accident premier. Hospital indemnity, uh, two plans available are Hospital Safeguard and Hospital Safeguard Premier. With this plan, you do need to attest at time of application that you have a qualified ACA plan in place at time of application. So that attestation right now is on the application. Um, it is, again, a lump sum benefit that is paid directly to the client. There are two plans available, and it basically um, is noted the differences between the hospital or the ICU and the number of days that it covers. So plan A is a $1,000 per day benefit for 31 days. Plan B would be 2,000, but only for seven days for hospital confinement. So keep that in mind, you know, if, if there is a serious condition, most people are in the hospital for more than seven days. So you might wanna have a, a longer payout period with plan A. Hospital Safeguard Premier works a little bit different. It has more coverages with emergency room, urgent care, surgical services. They're not all listed here, but it does work a little bit different as far as those added benefits. The number of days are gonna be the same that they're either in hospital or ICU confinement. Plan A is a $500 day benefit. Plan B is a $1,000 day per benefit. Premium differences in those two plans, the Safeguard and the Safeguard Premier, using that same male age 35, anywhere between $16 and $35, again, making it very affordable for your clients to add on with their ACA coverage that they already have. Again, December, one of our, our best months, and that is, again, they have to attest that they have an ACA plan. So again, combining that on to that plan. Most clients, 82% of them, are taking the hospital safeguard plan. And again, our top 10 states. Disability income, I'll go over just real briefly. It's only available in eight states. So again, if you market in other states, that is available to you. Again, paid directly to the clients, either an accident-only type plan or accident and sickness, um, paying but uh, monthly benefit amounts up to $5,000, basically 66% of their, up to 66% of their salary. Benefit durations, either one year, two year, or five years being disabled, and then different wait periods that they could um, select on that accident and sickness plan. We do have a worksheet in the plan brochure, so if clients want to list their expenses and what would be a best amount for them to look at, that is available to you. Most people are, um, clients are taking the Protector Plus, which is the accident and sickness plan, and most are taking the one-year benefit duration. So if they happen to be disabled for one year, that would be the payout. Lastly, if clients say no to everything, you may want to offer them our United Health Allies discount card. We're missing a, a screen here, but um, our discount card that you can take out basically does give them 
some added savings at the provider's offices of dental, medical, vision, pharmacy. There are also some additional services like alternative care with um, acupuncture, things like that, cosmetic services, liposuction, Botox, wellness. There's some discounts for Jenny Craig and Nutrisystem. Infertility, which may not be covered by most ACA plans, there's some discounts for that. The monthly premium for that discount card is $21.95, and it doesn't matter if it's an individual or family of five, that $21.95 would be the same cost. So this is a copy of the, the brochure that will go over some of those discounts, and you can always find more of those at the myuh1.unitedhealthallies.com website. And again, those discount card sales continue to increase with more exposure that we're getting to the client. So again, um, you know, I, I know I went through some of these quite quickly here with the sales opportunities that you have yet on the products that are available. Keep in mind, if you are currently um, contracted with us, you are eligible for some broker bonuses. You should have received some emails from us. Make sure you register. Um, so for this quarter, any applications received between July 1st and September 30th and issued. Um, once you reach 30 applications, we will go ahead and um, pay back on application number one for our dental plans, term life, critical illness, accident, and short-term plans over six-month duration. So keep that in mind on top of commissions. We continue to have bonus opportunities for you. Also, when you are contracted with us, you have access to your broker portal where you can look up the forms and supplies if you're doing online or on paper applications. We also do have these webinars on demand that you can take at any time to get more details of the coverage and any updates to our products. We recently did some updates with our quoting system, so there is more of a um, shopping cart feel now when clients are quoting um, and, and looking at different products with you that they can add those products, kind of like an Amazon experience. An added feature that is coming in August to our quoting system on eStore is you can send out individual quote links by product. So if you wanted to market your dental and vision product to your senior clients, as long as you have their first and last name and email address, you can send out a specific link for that to try to get more cu uh, customers. Right now, it, you do have that availability to do a prospect upload but it would just send the quoting link to quote all products. So if you need more information on that, definitely let us know. And again, I thank you for your time today. Um, again, any questions on our products, get in contact with Flexible Benefits. If you're not already currently contracted, make sure you contact them as well. Any service type issues that you may have, you can call our broker service line. My contact information is there as well. And if you do need any supplies on these products, please let me know, as I do have some that I can mail out to you directly. So at this time, that does conclude my presentation. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any questions in the chat box, Marianne, if we wanted to go over any of those questions. Hi, Melody. Thank you very much. That was uh, very helpful. I, I think that can't stress enough what I mentioned earlier and what you stressed as well is that with the... Uh, with the higher deductibles and you know the impending changes in 2017, that these ancillary products and based on the cost that you that you supplied to us, you know, using the examples that you did, there are low cost items that could really fill that gap and help people um, cover their out of pocket costs. So I, I just you know I just wanted to stress that um, there is a question about I wanted to ask you as well as as far as effective dates. Um, effective dates on all of the product lines, you know, we know, if you could just review that so that everybody is on the same page with what the effective dates are for short term, uh, what they are for dental, you know, you know, with the, you know, the day following the submission, which is, you know, what we discussed. So I just thought maybe you could just reiterate that for us. Sure. Yeah, most plans, and I think probably all of the plans, effective dates can be next day. So especially your short-term medical plans, if clients are without coverage when quoting, you can select the day that they need or it can be next day. So you're doing an application today, that effective date can be tomorrow. 
um, and then we'll bill them monthly based on that effective date. So that is an advantage that you don't have to wait for that effective date to go into place like some of the other plans that you have to wait. They can take that coverage out right away. Marianne, were there any other questions? Melody, can you hear me? I can now. Okay, all right. Um, our, uh, our producers, it's necessary for producers to have a non-resident producer license when they're selling out of state for all of these products. Is that correct? Correct statement? That is correct. Okay, okay. Just wanted to stress that. And then um, you had mentioned, you know, the, the discount cards, but at one point you had mentioned that there's a, on the vision plan, that there's a commitment of a 12-month term, you know, on the policy. Um, is there, are there any other products that you offer that have, uh, that need that 12-month commitment? No, vision is the only one. So um, that is something when they, they filed those products in most states, that, that vision um, commitment is there for 12 months. Um, there's a very few states, and I was actually just pulling up the plan brochure to see what states that is. But that is the only product that has that commitment of that 12-month um, plan. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying that. Um, you know, there are going to be, there's obviously updated brochures, and I just wanted you all to know that if you do need that, um, you know, the, the PDFs, are there hard copies that, um, that we can order or that producers can order, Melody? It definitely. Um, so they can contact our broker service team to order, or I, like I said, I do have a supply because we were planning on being in your offices this week, so I do have a supply right at my desk that I can mail out immediately and we don't have to wait for that team. So if you do get some requests for um, supplies, let me know how many and I can definitely get that out. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So please, if any of you are interested in any of these products, which I highly recommend looking into, um, you know, please let me know. Um, Melody is here to help us and provide us with all the information we need. We're going to be, you know, stepping into open enrollment before we know it. Um, I know everybody is involved in certifications for Medicare. There's going to be certification for the FFM Marketplace coming up August 1st. So, you know, things are going to start happening and it's going to get busy. So that's why Melody was kind enough to sit in and, and go through some of the detail on these products. So. Um, I, you know, I thank you again, Melody. It was really informative, and um, and I don't see that there are any other questions at this point. And if there is anything that comes up, I'll be sure to reach out to you. And um, and all of you, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to send an email to our office, and we will help you in any way we can. So thank you again for your time, and uh, much much appreciated. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.